everyone, this is the Toto installation of the SW3084. Everything is included in the box that you need. You'll just remove your toilet seat and you'll prepare your mounting bracket. On the back of the mounting bracket, there's an arrow that indicates front and back. So you'll position that uh, correctly for the uh, toilet seat to fit well. Next, you'll take your mounting anchors and you'll install those into the, uh, the holes that the, uh, from the old toilet seat and just push those down just thread the bolt in a little bit and those will push straight in there's a rubber flange that will sit even with the uh, toilet porcelain once you have those installed you're going to install the mount for the toilet seat and you're going to take the uh, mounting brackets that are provided i usually like to set those halfway um, and uh, that typically works out pretty good once you get those installed you'll install your screws Okay, at this point we'll tighten up the screws uh, to where they're fairly snug. You want to make sure all the seals and the, everything is squeezed in under the mount. And now we'll go ahead and dry fit the, uh, the bidet seat. There's a, a square button on the side that you'll push to unlock. And then when you push that up, that'll lock in the, the seat. And sometimes it takes a couple tries to get it locked into the uh, to mount. Okay, once that's done, we'll make sure that our seat is even with the porcelain, that it's a nice fit, and we'll remove that by pushing the uh, button and uh, that'll release it off the mount. At this point, we'll screw down the bolts uh, till they're very tight and make sure there's no movement in the mount. And we'll just push our button, remount the seat, and there we got the seat is mounted. All right, once the uh, seat is in position, you will have a little bit of movement, um, and that's just normal. Okay, we'll shut the water off to the toilet, and just by turning that shut, and this is the tee that is provided is for the uh, toilet, and then you'll have a spur off for the bidet seat. So we'll undo the supply line, and disconnect that. You will have some water that will come down, and at this point, we'll go ahead and install the tee. You want to make sure that T is very snug and tight so we don't have any leakage and then we'll bring our supply line up and tighten that onto the T. Once that is tight, we'll take our supply line to the bidet and tighten that onto the uh, T spur. And now we'll go ahead and check the water and uh, make sure we don't have any leaks and we'll dry up the area. Okay, once it's plugged in, the toilet will cycle through a self-test. Okay, now we'll go ahead and prep the remote. Uh, you will have a mount that's on the remote and it has a couple screws. Those will mount to the wall and then the remote will just slide down onto that. It does require batteries, those are included in the kit, and uh, just install those. On the back of the remote, you'll have your preferred settings that you'll set up before you mount it. And it just, once it's in, you just slide it down and it'll mount. So we'll mount the mount to the wall and uh, using the anchors, and just screw that in till it's nice and snug. So at this point, we'll just install the remote and we'll go ahead and test it. And there you go. That's the full installation of the Toto SW3084.